want to talk a little bit about the ethnic nose because it's become such a popular lecture topic. You see it a lot on the internet. Patients come in and say, I want to see your Asian noses or I want to see your Middle Eastern noses. The important thing about the ethnic patient and really about every patient is that some patients with identifiable familial, racial, or personal characteristics want to retain them. So they may have a high bridge, they want to still keep some height to the bridge. They may have an angular tip or a certain amount of nasal length, they don't want to change very much. And others want a type change, they want to change that ethnic appearance. So body image and the patient's desire to look like himself or herself is what's really critically important. So the, that conversation of what the patient wants in terms of an outcome, I think should be part of every rhinoplasty. Let me tell you a story. I operated on a man who was a six foot six marathon runner from Kenya some years ago. He had a rhinoplasty, had lost some of his airway, had this little dinky brown nasal appearance, and he brought in photographs of his father and his brother and he said, I don't look like my family anymore. And these men had much broader, larger noses with higher bridges. So with rib cartilage, I recreated as much as I could what his family looked like. We took the bandages off, the tears started streaming down his face, which surprised me because he's such a big, strong, athletic man. And yet the feeling of suddenly belonging to his family and retaining, regaining his body image was very powerful. The responsibility, therefore, for the surgeon is to have a technique that allows him or her to deliver what the patient wants to maintain his or her personal identity.